Some workers are probably guilty of fantasizing about making a spectacular exit from their day job or pulling a Bridget Jones and telling their boss what they really think of them. But one now former Twitter employee actually did it, and made their departure known around the world on Thursday by deleting U.S. President Donald Trump's Twitter account. The social media platform said his account was inadvertently deactivated due to human error and restored it after 11 minutes. But what are other famous examples of unconventional resignations and frosty workplace goodbyes? In 2010 a disgruntled air steward, Stephen Slater, lost patience with passengers' behavior and ended his flying career with a spectacular exit from a Pittsburgh to New York flight. He had reportedly been drawn into an altercation between passengers over overhead luggage space during the flight. After a woman then ignored his requests to stay seated as the plane landed, he took to the plane's intercom system. Reports said he went on a foul-mouthed rebuke of the passenger and said, To those who have shown dignity and respect these last 20 years, thanks for the great ride, before grabbing beer from the in-flight trolley, activating the JetBlue plane's inflatable slide and departing. He told the New York Times the flamboyant exit had been a long-held fantasy. But it proved to be an expensive one, after a judge eventually ordered him to pay the company $10,000 £7,700 for a replacement slide and sentenced him to a year's probation. He faced felony charges of reckless endangerment and criminal mischief, as well as criminal trespass. In 2013 Chris Holmes, a former airport border force worker, baked his resignation letter and gave it to his employers when he opted for a change in career. Four years on he is still baking and running his own business full-time, and told the BBC he had absolutely no regrets about his decision. He said he found his old job at Stansted Airport quite boring and wanted to inject a bit of a fun in a final flourish. At the time everyone asked me if I thought everyone should quit their job for something they love, he said. If you have a plan in place, why not? Both animator Marina Schifrin and games developer Jared Woods turned their crafts into creative resignations online. In 2009 Mr. Woods, who is also known by his nickname Farbs, made a customized level of video game Mario to reveal his resignation from an Australian game developer in order to go freelance. In a blog post he said he spent the night making the game and then sent it off around his office, you can still play it on his website. In 2013 Ems Shifrin was working at the time as an animator in Taiwan when she posted a video of herself quitting by dancing around an empty office on YouTube set to the Kanye West song Gone. The description for an interpretive dance for my boss said, my boss only cares about quantity and how many views each video gets. So I figured I'd make one video of my own. It got almost 20 million views online but it has now been removed for copyright infringement on the song. Her old company and manager tried to have the last laugh by posting their own version of her video in response. A Rhode Island hotel worker staged a spectacular resignation in 2011 when he brought his marching band friends along with him to tell his boss he quit. Joey DeFrancesco posted the video online and it soon went viral warning, expletive. The band are seen sneaking into the hotel and begin playing a celebratory song after the worker hands his manager a letter of resignation. The disagreement was reportedly part of a long-running battle between employees and management over union membership. His video was watched almost six million times. Did you quit your job in dramatic fashion? Tell us your story. Email Javiersay at bbc.co.uk. You can also contact us in the following ways.